Somebody called them on me. They want to know if I'm strapped. Something might happen. So I'm going to get the f out of here. Right. Well, we got our package today. Jay Julius hooked us up. <laughs> Man, look, this looks nice, bro. They sent us another one, too. One for uh, one, one for my sister. Wow. That's nice. Appreciate y'all, Jay Julius. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> How different you think it would have been if you had the internet? And would you have wanted the internet? Nah, nah, not for right? The shit that, no, I did a lot of dumb shit too, man. But not for half the shit that was going on out here. I can I can look at a picture all day, and then memories can just flood in my head. But I don't know. If we had video cameras and shit, should it be a whole like whole for the hell of a lot different? Uh, Wu Tang. Like, that would have been dope, cause I, I you seen that Kanye shit? Yeah. That shit was kind of you know. Imagine shit. if that was like if y'all yeah. had that at that time. We did have some. Yeah, kind of, we did have it kind of like yes. that, my nigga. Okay, the back boys. Yours. Yes, all the time. You know what it is. Oh, now this is fire. Anytime I could. All right. Yeah, thank you, brother. <laughs> I damn near lived in every last one of these motherfucking buildings. Yeah, no. yeah. 225. Right there, sixth floor. Yeah. See, right? Six. We can see it, Yeah, you can see my, my window was right there. Actually, that's my wife's window. This is where it all started at for me. Where the fire escape is, top window on the left. I used to jump down that bitch and climb in the window. My mother ain't care. Miss, Miss Debbie was cool about that shit. You know what it is? Every time I used to come out this bitch, man, I used to love coming out this bar. Who would want to come out here when they're a star? Right. Hey, shit, you want to stand on the block, absorb, get the love and shit? But every time I did, I get locked up or police right. searching me and shit. It, this ain't no coincidence. Motherfuckers calling them niggas on me. Okay, somebody called them on me. They want to know if I'm strapped. Something might happen. So I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Right. All right, so this is the tree. My nigga Case. Uh, my man Case. But this yeah. is the tree where he was um, yeah. killed. By the police. By the police. Killed. By the police. Crazy. Niggas was rioting, like, niggas was going in. What's going on now, been going on, people know that shit. It's just good that it's being brought to such a light. So that question that you asked me, what if we had the technology we had back then that right. we have now, but it was pertaining to Wu-Tang and following yes, our yes. journey. Now, if we had it back then, like we got, like we got now, that shit that happened with Case would have been solved because we could have been heard on a larger fucking scale, man. But it was just a bunch of black people in a neighborhood that they say is uh, drug ridden complaining. Right. Complaining about another drug dealer that these motherfuckers took off the streets to, in, their, in their words, that another, another drug dealer, not a father that they took away from his children, not a son that they took away from his mother. Every time something happened, Case mother used to come out here looking for him. Where's Voff? Where's Rabbit? Where's Rabbit? Oh, he up the block, he up the block. And Jen, just that one fucking time, man. But this shit here, this stands for not just a, a, a man's life, but what this community stands for as far as being here and dealing with the trials and tribulations of living in a community like this, man. Everybody out here, we knew we was broke and shit, but everybody around us was just as broke. There were times where I ain't get shit to eat, but I ate at a homeboy house. This mother fed me. This is all we got. This is all some people got. Right. And before I started making music, this is all I had. And this is all I seen. Mm -hmm. And these people out here and shit, they reflect everything that I am and everything that I could be, man. And this could have been any of us here. What's the, what, what food spots they got here? Which I was eating back in the Chinese Chinese restaurant. Chinese mm -hmm. restaurant PLO, right PLO store sandwiches. But I remember, What's PLO? Uh, oh, that's the Pal that's them Palestinian niggas. They was good people. What did really? that mean? The thing with me was they were Palestinian dudes, uh -huh. right? They owned the store and they would hook like for real. You'd be like, look, pa, I ain't get my motherfucking check this week. If I can get some groceries, you got to feed the family and shit. Make sure you come back. They walk, they rock the turbans. Yeah, so we yeah. used to jokes and book niggas and rock the turbans. PLO, PLO, PLO scarves. Oh, that's the what that PLO meant. Scarves, yeah. The scarf, yeah. PLO And these style, niggas yeah. had a bunch of pictures sitting up in there with their peoples the back home with the eight. I'm talking my kids like this, AK, big ass guns, big than them holding shit. You know, they fighting for their freedom out there. But not only that, they had pictures of niggas in the neighborhood, kids. That's community, you know what I mean? So say what you want to say about the Palestinians or whatever they did, This they was good to us out here. And I mean, as far as eating, I mean, you ate what you ate. That was in your motherfucking vicinity and shit. We had right. the little pizzerias but you and said shit. Somebody uh, 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 Chef Mom's making plates. Or whatever it was, that's his mom. Yeah, that's his mom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Bless her so. For real, bless her. Yo, where you get the cow from? What's the cow? I got that from Lounge. Lounge from and what? Low. It was some block shit, right? And him and uh, this dude, Jen, Sammy, uh -huh. yeah. Melgen, they uh, came up with this 
First it was, uh, we used to call cigarettes method. Let me get a method. Is that where you got the name? Method Man? Yeah, because like, yeah, then we started calling it weed. Yeah. Right. I took it from a nigga, though. Mm. This nigga named Foss Method. I took Foss that shit method. from. Yeah. I took it from you, Foss. <laughs> Foss <laughs> Method. I took, for some reason, loungers just started shortening and calling it Method Cow. Let me get Method Cow. Method if you know anything about Boomer, how about you just spook them to ask them right up? Right Boom. 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 A lot of the slang, slangery, came from this man's mind right here. What's booming? What's booming? So we was calling the weed and all that shit to cow, but he took it a step further because he was ending sentences with the cow and words right. with the cow. You know, get the monte to cows. Monte, yes, <laughs> yes. right? right? The monte cow, the met the cow, everything was the cow and shit. And um, I'm a reflection of this place right here, so why wouldn't I name my first album that shit? And once that album dropped, now everybody on the island saying it. Right. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They thought it was my shit. It wasn't my shit, it was his shit. Yeah. That's why he was on the album. He on the Met First Chef, that's him. Let's get ready. Them Joe Uh-huh. One, two, one, two, Ling yeah. of my zoo. Uh -huh. Staten Island's yes. most popular son. Some so. things go without being said, you know? Yeah. What's your ah. favorite? What's your favorite karate flick? Oh, oh fuck. Um everybody can answer super, that. Right super now. ninjas. Super ninjas? Super ninjas, right? Because it was it was a, it was made by the Chinese. Yeah. They was whooping them ninjas yeah. ass. But they, was, but, but, they was, but they was coming yeah. from they was coming from everywhere. 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 The ninja, the, the elements. elements. Hitting you with everything. And I loved shit like yeah, that because the cinematography, everything was just so on point and it had to do with the elements, especially the fire motherfuckers. Them yeah. shit yeah. banging. Yeah. What did y'all like so much about the karate flick? The, 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 the dance. The camaraderie and then the, yeah. the, 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 the low bottom like niggas one rising one. to be the champion. Nah, you know what I mean? for the underdog, part of the left. Always for the underdog, and we dug that shit, because who are we? We the underdog, just the bottom, nigga. Right. Fuck. That's life right there. Yeah. You know, that's that's real life. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? First to start like, implementing that into the music. Who's RZA was always on that RZA? shit. RZA, yeah. RZA living out, they say when you a child, the things you didn't have as a child, when you become an adult, you try and live that fantasy out and right. shit. He wanted to be in those movies, and if you look at his videos, most of his videos, and that's RZA doing, doing that shit. RZA, he's training with Sifu and all, he got, Fuck with that nigga if you want to. I told niggas years ago, fuck with y'all rule if you want to and they ain't believe me, now they know. <laughs> fuck with RZA if you want. Run up on that nigga if you want to. I said the same shit about MC Hammer too. Run up on MC Hammer if you want to. Give you that ah, ah, Catch them ah, ah, ah. Fuck around. Mm -hmm. RZA will fuck you up. What's your craziest story about, not crazy, a memorable story about ODB? I think we were in Florida mm -hmm. and uh, there was a commotion at the bar. And I wanted to see what was going on. When I went over there, he's getting had at the bar in front of everybody. I don't know who this young lady was. Yeah, she was doing the damn thing in front of everybody. It was like a free porno show. That's the kind of nigga that he was. You know, <laughs> he said he like a nasty bitch. Right. I'm like, I like a bitch that'll do anything at any given time. Uh -huh. I'm a nasty nigga, so I need a nasty bitch. And he had him. He had him all over the fucking place. When you first met ODB, it was out here? No, I met Asan at, uh, at the Park Villa. That battle, that's, that's the battle. first time I saw it. He was ass. living out here or he just- Nah, he here. was just coming out to visit his cousin. Mm. Rizzo was the one that lived out here. Okay. And I just remember that night in particular because, you know, Rizzo was my man. I used to hang out with this nigga all the time. And Jizza had that record out, um, he had uh, just put out uh, Words From A Genius. So they had that cockiness when they came up in there thinking they was gonna win this battle. Mm-mm, mm-mm, got booed too. Did they or did they not get booed? Yes, they did. <laughs> they got booed, being too fucking cocky in Staten Island. Right. Nobody want to hear that shit. Right. This is from Park Hill and shit. So, you made it out. Nah, it was gonna get out. That was that was a definite. Hell nah. Right. I would have fought y'all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> y'all ain't fucking these niggas up. No, not today. 